Hello YouTube, in this tutorial we will talk about functions. Functions are extremely important in programming and you will use them all the time, you will create them all the time. So their task is to do specific job very very well and they are like a dedicated worker in your company. So how to create them? You will say def and then space and name of your function, for example my function Okay, and every time when you see this blue color, that means that you're messing around with creation of functions because you will have def at the start. Now, after that, you will type just normal brackets. So there are two types of functions, the primary ones, the basic ones, very simple, uh, and they, they just do something. And the functions that grab actual uh, arguments and arguments, you will state them here. Okay, so your functions then will do something all on these elements, okay, on these attributes, but we will learn about that in one of the next tutorials. So this is the simplest possible way. So this, our function will just print stuff for simplicity reasons, like a print line one, and let's also go to line two and line three, okay. And now, if you think that your program will run, well, it, it will, but let's check this, okay? There is no results. Reason is, when you have function, that's not enough. You need to use it, you need to call it. And to do that, you will say my function and normal brackets, and you will always use that, the name of the function and normal brackets. There is no two dots here okay only in definition of function and now you will get desired results see so that's cool so here's the question can function use other functions well sure so let's define one of those functions like def and uh, uh, triple so the task of this function will be to run this function three times okay and you just state the name of that original function, basic one, of course, with the brackets. And you will do that for, I don't know, three times, right? Because the name is triple. And now you need to call it. Okay. And that will work. CLS. And there you go. Because the results are kind of cryptic, that means that you can improve your original function by adding something. In this case, you can just add separator times uh, 50, and you'll get nicer result here. So that works. So can you mix these functions? Like uh, on one line, you will have uh, this upgraded, and down there, you will have normal ones can you do that well yeah sure why not so basically you are calling two individual functions it's really not important because uh this function triple one grabs this function okay so the result will be this one we have four results three of them are from triple and this one is from my function okay so next thing, let's create function that will ping some IP using while loop and function. I mean, yeah, so let's just shut up and, and type stuff. So def uh, ping something, okay. Now there is the task of that form function will be to grab something from keyboard, okay, IP address, so enter IP, okay, and after that we will issue the command OS system ping, and let's say that we will ping uh, for one packet, because default is a four packet, I think that on the Linux, if you're on a Linux, you will use here C and not N, but you need to check your manual, and after that you will say plus that specific X, so this function will work correctly now, but we need to import OS module. And OS module is the thing that provides us option to mess around with the system, among other things, to run external applications, 
like calculator, ping, uh, notepad, and so on. So now when you run directly, okay, directly, only once that ping, like this, the result will be enter IP and I will say localhost and there you go, there is a execution. So the test is successful, we have our function running really fine. So let's use while loop like uh, while uh, or loop or sorry for loop for x in range 3 which basically means up till 3 passes up till 3 occurrences of uh, when you are counting basically run something and result will be ping something I mean not result, you are just stating what's gonna happen, okay? So we are not using here print x, we are just running this function for three times, okay? So cls and enter ip, that's the first pass, so localhost, that works. And there, this is not end of the script, this is not break, okay? Here is another question from the system, so localhost. There you go, results, and again, enter IP, which will be my router somewhere. And there you go, it works. And now this is the end of execution. We have three executions, which means this is, uh, this is done, okay? Now, you will probably say, but I wanna do that while thing. Well, let's go. So while true, and that means that our program will run constantly, so while true, ping something. That means that this script will always and constantly ask us about targets to ping. So CLS and let's do that. Like uh, one pass, okay, another pass again and again and again and again and again until we say it's enough and I will just uh, break this program here by pressing Control C and now we have keyboard import interrupt sorry and that's it so here's the question uh, how to get out of the while loop well this is what we need to do we need uh, grab something from keyboard uh, so that program can add, okay? And that something will ask us, basically. So, epsilon, and we will use just abstract epsilon here for user input. <coughs> Do you wanna uh, stop? Okay, and that will be question. And now, if statement, so if epsilon equals yes, and that is what you need to type in your, uh, in your terminal, then you will break, okay? So you will stop that continuous while loop. So let's run our script and enter IP. Okay, that works. Do you wanna stop? If you say yes, that's it, the program is done. So let me just uh, briefly add here for clarity reasons some middle line because <coughs> I don't like a bunch of text in a terminal. So let's run our stuff again. Enter IP. Okay, that works. Do you wanna stop? And when you say no or something else, for example, no, again, program will ask you. And do you wanna stop? And you will say something totally stupid, enter program doesn't care, again IP, do you want to stop, no, blah blah, localhost, and when you say uh, yes, that's it, everything is fine, I mean everything is done. So yeah, I think that's a, that's a, that was a nice tutorial. If you're confused with this wild thing or something, you can practice a couple of times. And if you don't know too much about pinging and uh, OS modules and system, don't worry, we'll learn that in the next tutorials as always, as I promised. So just practice with uh, simple printing inside of functions that are inside of other function, functions and so on.
So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna shut up, go definitely to sleep, uh, render this video and see you tomorrow in the next tutorial.